Hello, Michael. Here's our laboratory. Nice, very nice. So, how many hours do you normally perform the salt spray testing? 24 hours or 36 hours, depending on which products. I notice that your water pressure remains consistent and the pressure gauge doesn't fluctuate. How do you achieve this? We use four high-powered vertical boost pumps, along with water pressure, stabilizer in sequence. This ensures consistency in test results under various conditions. Why is this equipment so expensive, and where is it used? This machine expedites the measurement process and also keeps it precise. Shouldn't the melt flow index for plastic raw materials be provided by the material supplier? We can measure the melt flow index of raw materials to determine if the quality of the batch is consistent with our required standards. What kind of products do you produce that require bacterial testing? This is used to test and confirm the function of UF, our membrane and UV light. How would the hydrostatic pressure test be conducted? We perform continuous pressure holding tests from low water pressure of 25 psi to high water pressure of 150 psi. Each test lasts for 72 hours to simulate amounts of consumer usage without causing filter bottle rupture and flooding. The NSF no longer requires burst testing. Why does your company still perform this test? Burst testing can help us to detect products quality quickly. How do you identify signs of aging in plastic products? We use UV light and high temperature of 70 degrees Celsius for a testing period of 120 hours. How do you ensure there are no water leakage issues during long-term use? We will conduct the following test, rubber hardness testing, rubber aging and pressure testing at a temperature of 125 degrees Celsius for a duration of 22 hours. Easy Well leads the industry, insists upon seeking truth from facts, sure product quality, safety and reliability.